Imagine you are working on an important project and gathering lots of data in Excel. Looking at all those rows and columns of numbers can be overwhelming. But charts can help you see the big picture, spot trends and make better decisions. However, if your chart doesn't have data levels, it's like reading a book without any titles. Hey there Excel enthusiasts, welcome to Excel Demi, your go-to destination for mastering Excel and Excel VBA related challenges. I am Shahriya Rabra Rafid and in today's video, I will be showing a detailed guide on how to add data levels in Excel. So, let's roll up our sleeves and get started. For this tutorial, I will be using Microsoft Excel 365. Consider the student information of Eureka Academy dataset which contains the name, height in centimeter and weight in pound in columns B, C and D respectively. Now I will demonstrate two handy methods to add data levels to our chart. Let's start with our first method. I will use the chart elements command to add data levels. First. Select the entire dataset in the B4 to D10 range. Secondly, we will create a 2D clustered column chart. For that, first of all, go to the insert tab on the ribbon. Then, click on the insert column or bar chart drop down icon in the charts group of commands. Lastly, select the 2D clustered column option. Now, you can see the chart in the display. Click on the chart title and give it a suitable name, height and weight. If you take a look at the chart, you will see that there are no data levels. Because of this, it's not easy to understand the height and weight values of each person. So let's add the data levels to our chart. Click on the chart and you can see a contextual chart design tab. Here in the chart layouts group, click on the add chart element drop down icon. From these options, you can add the chart elements. Also, you can change the style from the chart styles group of commands. Alternatively, click on chart elements which is this plus icon and you will see some more commands regarding the chart. From these options, mark the data levels command. If you click on the arrow, you can choose different positions for the data levels. For now, I will keep the default position which is outside end. Finally, you will see all the data levels above the columns accordingly. Let's move on to method 2 where we'll use Visual Basic for applications to add data levels programmatically. Sounds impressive, right? First, I'll enable the developer tab. To do this, right click on any tab on the ribbon. From the context menu, select customize the ribbon option. Instantly, it will open the customize ribbon option in the Excel options window. Just click the developer option and click OK. Now. The developer tab is visible on the ribbon. Simply go to the developer tab, click on the visual basic command in the code group of command. You can use the Alt F11 keyboard shortcut to do the same. It will open the visual basic editor window. Since I want my code to run on all sheets in this workbook, I'll write it in the code module. Click insert then module. It will insert a code module to the right side of the display. Let's type down the code. First, I'll create a subroutine and give it a suitable name that is add data level. Press enter and Excel will automatically insert the end sub line. Now, I'll declare a variable named ch of the type chart object. Here, dim means dimensions. Then, we'll assign the chart1 object of the active sheet to the ch variable. Here, chart1 is the name of our chart in the VVA worksheet. In this place, you have to write the name of your chart. You can find it easily. Just minimize the VB editor, click on the chart and you can see the corresponding chart name in the name box. We will specify the MSO element data level outside end constant which means that the data levels will be placed on the outside end of each column in the chart. After that, 
press the run sub button to run the code or just press F5 to run the macro. And there you have it, data levels have been added programmatically using VVA. In this tutorial, I have shown you two useful ways for adding data levels in Excel. You can apply any of these methods according to your liking. Download the workbook from the description box so you can practice it yourself. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comments section or you can have a glance at exceltimey.com. If you like this video, consider subscribing and click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.